Hi my cuties, welcome back to another haul. I'm going to start making another Easter DIY and I want to share with you guys. So the supplies that you're going to need are some paint, acrylic, satin, whatever paints you want, whatever colors. You need some wooden beads. You need, of course, one of these wood crates. Um, a sanding pad or you could use one of those sanding papers and some paint brushes and that's it guys I like to sand these down because if I don't I get like splinters on my fingers so that's why I said you know it's good to have like a sanding pad or sanding paper and you could just sand it down and it will be nice and smooth the wooden crate so I'm gonna do it because I know a lot of you guys don't like the sound and I'll come back so it's really easy you just like this lightly and I like to remove the label of course I'm not gonna sand the top because it feels kind of smooth already okay once you take the label off make sure you do sand where the label was because it leaves that sticky residue so the paint won't grab as well okay so I already have my paints and my little trays if you're interested in the little trays these are the mini wavy plates these tall pieces I like to start painting inside the ridges like this so I have this really light thin paint brush so I'm gonna start painting this because I don't want this to show that you know natural wood color let's see and if it goes over over um you could always sand it down again so i really don't really care if it does because i'm gonna sand it with the sanding pad just gotta make sure that these ridges are painted this is the thinnest brush that i have so it's whatever So I'm gonna do both, excuse me, both sides. I wanna make it look like a book. To the other side so I'm gonna do this one off camera and when I'm done we'll continue so I sand in that again see got this nice finished look you guys get the idea so let's start painting so I'm gonna start with the white then I'm gonna go with the pink and white. If anyone is interested in my pink, it's Pink Parfait. This is my favorite. And this one is just Apple Barrel Gloss White. And also the pink is Apple Barrel. So, I had made two of these for valentine's and i had so much fun making these you can make these any holiday you can make this for easter 
um valentine's like i just said christmas fourth of july this is just an easy cute little diy I'm gonna go with two coats. Okay, so we're done with the white. Now my brush. So we're gonna try not to go over the ridges. Like a nice clean look. And I already went over the ridges. So you could always clean that out. Take your time so you don't have to do double work like I have to now. Gotta keep. You will need a thinner brush. See guys how it went over? Not much, but I did go over. Okay, so we're gonna go over white again. Okay guys, so this is how it looks. I'm gonna work with the other side and we'll continue.
when I paint, I like to go one direction. I don't like to go up and down, sideways. I just like one direction. I'm just going the way I just did right now because I wanted to get make sure I got the edges. And my bracelet just popped. I have actually two more DIY, Easter DIYs that I want to share with you guys. So I'm ahead of the game this year with the Easter. I'm surprised because I'm usually late and um, I do make the DIYs, but I, I always end up forgetting to upload the videos and it's already too late. Sometimes I do upload it, even if it's um, past due, you know. But I, sometimes I just save it for next year. Is there any mistakes? I don't want to make this bit too long. I'm trying to brush a little bit. Went over again. I don't like to make my videos too long. So I know people get bored. Okay, so I'm going to go over it another cold and we'll continue from there. All right, we already done with the painting. I painted the sides. I only did one coat on the sides because you're not gonna really be able to really see it. And everything else has two coats. So that's already done. If you wanna sand out the edges there, you could because they're kind of rough. So I'm gonna leave that. You could add any stickers you want, any colors, want to put pastel colors just a solid color you could so these are the ones that I'm looking to see which one I'm going to choose so these are like iridescent as you guys can see very pretty 
and also these and if you guys don't have any stickers at the moment or if you don't like the colors of your stickers if you wanted something that matches your wood crate you could always if you have stencils in hand you could always use stencils also if you want so i'm gonna go with i think i'm gonna go with these these away not sure then after we're done adding some stickers on the your book we're gonna start painting these the wood beads and you know the way that i paint wood beads is you could get a pack of these bamboo stores they sell it at dollar tree i bought these on my local 99 cents plus store and i paid 70 cents for these so we'll get to that when we're done adding the stickers I always like to use a pair of tweezers because of my nails. Okay, try to use. I want to make it look like kind of colorful. So, let me start doing this. I'm not going to focus too much. I'm going to just show you the first quotes that I'm using. okay guys so this is how it looks i'm sorry i don't know what happened my camera completely stopped but this is just plain and simple you just add your quote and then you're done if you want you could add much podge to see you learn the letters but i'm decided to just leave it like that so what i'm gonna start doing is I'm going to use this one. I decided to keep this one just in case. So I like the colors. So I want to make my own little darker colors like a bubblegum pink and a purple. So let's start with the beads. Um, let's see how long I want this to be too long not too short okay, so nice. I'm gonna use about 10 beads so that's two four six eight ten I think that's perfect I'm just thinking hold on guys i'm stuck here okay so i'm gonna cut six instead of ten because i don't want it too long because i might add 
some buttons. I have these. I haven't used these, so I'm going to add some purple buttons. I wish they had smaller pink, but they don't. So. So if you want, you could add this like this. Um, doesn't match to me, so I have no interest. So let's get a store. See how easy guys so all you got to do is just start painting okay so i'm gonna use um this one is grape taffy and i'm also gonna use the, the pink parfait see guys you could keep using these as long as you clean them quick, you could use them. Let's pick up a little too much. to start with these. Um, the brush was a little wet because I had used it for another project that I was doing. So I'm going to have to use two coats. You guys can see. I don't like the way it looks. I want to keep going over the same painting. See how it's looking? It looks like kind of bumpy. I don't know if it's the brush. Let's just see what happens. Put those three. I don't like the way it looks. Let me start off with one. Let's try it again. I'm gonna dry the paint brush. The best thing to do guys it's to that's it to just buy your painted beads because it's like this I already see it's not gonna come out perfect like I wanted to unless you are going to spray paint them It's 
it. I'll continue. Okay, so this is how they turned out. Um, I don't really like the way they look because it's like um, you just got to keep on painting. I added uh, three coats or four actually. And the first coat, just don't keep going over it because it's going to get smudged. It's going to smear. You're going to see like little globs and chunks of it like peeling off unless you want to sand it down if they're colorful wood beads my best option is getting them the color you want so that's how they look so i'm going to try to place them in one of these cute little ribbons if they fit so let's see take them off the sewers I don't even know if this is gonna go through I don't know guys it's not looking like it's gonna go through I'm gonna have to just use one of these twines. If it starts opening up, just take a little piece of scotch tape and put it at the edge it'll be easier to add the wood beads I'm really tired. Okay, so that's how they're looking. I'm going to just do a little nod. I wanted to put one of these buttons, but I don't think it's going to work out because the hole is too small. So. Let me just make a knot here at the end of the twine so that's how it looks for your little wood beads I'm going to continue 
to see what else ideas I have. If I'm going to add anything on the top. I'm going to see if I have ribbons to, you know, make it look cuter with the beads. You know, I'll see. So, I'm going to use some of these ribbons. Make something cute. These ribbons are so adorable. These buffalo check ones, I love them. They're so pretty. is so pretty too but I don't know should I have a little yellow to make it pop a little bit oh no I'm debating on this one I love yellow because look at all these pretty yellow ribbons so let's just leave that there for now and let me finish up to see what I'm gonna do okay so I had a fix the loves because I forgot the S. That's how tired I was yesterday. So um at first I had bunny kisses and Easter wishes but it didn't fit so I came up with somebody loves you. So that's how it looks already and I love this because it's like the foil stickers and once you know you turn it it's like it's like bright and it looks real pretty then I did this cute hold on I did this little cute little ribbons here I added a whole bunch of ribbons I cut them I was already showing you then I added the, the mesh over here also so that's how it looks if you want you could fill it up more if not you could leave it like that so I like it like this it's gonna go up there so that's how the beads look I added them to a uh, pink yarn that I had this one from Dollar Tree also I love it and it's super soft um, I was gonna add them into the a twine but I decided not to so it's not bad so I think I'm, I've added too many beads I should have gone with just three on each side so I'm gonna have to cut some yarn down or if not remove two more of the beads that I have above so that's almost done I have my heat gun on and I'm gonna add something on the top some mesh so I folded the mesh that I have this is a messy messy mesh guys those little specks, they go everywhere. So I wanna make it look like this. So cute. So I could have gone under all the way, but I'm not. So what I'm gonna do is put some glue. It's gonna be a little hard for me. It's already unfolding. Let me try to glue this down. I think it's easier if I do. Just glue this on the edges.
that's what I'm doing okay so I just folded it and I added some glue gun on the edges and in the middle so it could be easier for me okay, so I'm gonna go under and I'm gonna just put some glue there good amount I'm gonna try to make it stay which way okay so try to make it as neat as I could even sure. I don't know what happened to my um my protective finger protectors Just holding it there for a couple of seconds. Okay, so that's gonna set. Cool, I'm gonna pull. So that's how it looks. I'm not going to put any glue at all on the top because if I want to reuse this and make something else, which I'm not, but if you guys want to, do not add anything on the top. You could make a bow if you want to. I made this look like little tassels. So one of the, of the little ribbon came off I'm gonna add a little bit of some glue I like that purple because the purple makes it pop so we're gonna leave that there let's take these out Move this to the side. Sorry. See how messy it is? It leaves those little specks everywhere. So, let's see if I take out these four, how it will look, or should I? I think I'm going to cut. I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna cut. Make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a little bit. So I'm gonna cut some yarn, make it a little shorter. I like it long, but since it's, I have too many. What beads? I need it a little shorter. Okay, so that's how it's looking. I'm liking it so far. So let's see if I could put this underneath. Secure if you want, you could glue it. I'm gonna leave mine like that. Now let's put the ribbons. Mm 
me see. Um, I don't know if I should cut a little bit also. I think I'm gonna cut. Okay, so I don't like the way this shows here. You see, it looks kind of messy. I try to um, cut as neat as I could, but it was not working. I don't like the way it looks. I got such a mess here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the glue gun and put some glue. And put it underneath and I'm gonna wrap it around to make that look like a cleaner look Okay, like it better, looks better. Okay, now put this out of the way. Now I'm gonna see if I'm gonna cut or should I leave it like that while you guys stink. Should I leave it like that long or should I cut? Because if I cut, Look a little, probably a little neater. What do you guys think? Should I leave it like that or should I cut? This is covering a lot of the letters. Okay, lovelies, I'm done. So I decided to leave it like that long because I like the way it hangs. I love the way it looks. Um, if you want, you could add pearls, you could add rhinestones, you know, you know, decorate it more, bling it out if you want. But I like mine to be simple, so that's how I like it. Love it. And let me show you the ones that I made during valentine's okay beauties we are done i decided to leave the ribbons long like that because i like the way it looks hanging i love the beads the colors um like i said i my opinion i will buy whatever color beads i need because it's not worth painting because you can see they kind of like they don't grab the paint too well but if you want, you could add rhinestones, pearls, you could bling it out more, but I like it simple, so that's the way I'm going to leave it. So I want to share with you guys the ones that I had made during Valentine's. So I made this one. Simple. I love the way this one came out. This is like my favorite. Then I also made this one. So let me make a little space. Move this out. So I made this one, that one, that was my favorite one, and the Valentine's. So you could always reuse these if you want. If not, you could leave them hanging around. Um, if you don't want them to show the quote, you could leave them like this. And then during Valentine when it comes, you could flip it and use it again. Or you could just leave it like that and add little things in there until Valentine's. So you could always make these for Halloween, Christmas, Thanksgiving, fall, Easter, um, any holiday, St. Patrick's any holiday so 
that's it guys i hope you guys like comment and subscribe and